Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. I want to do a quick video and talk about thyroid medication names. And what I want to do is I want to make this topic not so confusing because I get a lot of questions about this and I want to break down thyroid medications and their names by thyroid hormone content. So as you probably know, each thyroid medication has a different type of thyroid hormone in it. Now there's really only two main thyroid hormones, but they can vary, um, each medication can vary in the amount of each of these hormones that it has. So let's talk about them. This is just going to be really basic, um, just a, a, some helpful information for those who are confused about this. So let's talk about a list of T4 only thyroid medication and all of these names. So first of all, you can see that this is T4. This is what it looks like in your body. Well, it's not actually what it looks like in your body, but this is how we illustrate it. And you can see here, iodine, 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 iodine. If you count them, there's four. That means that's where the name T4 gets its name because it has four iodines. So medications that have T4 only, um, include Synthroid, Levothyroxine, Tyrosint, Levoxyl, Unithroid, Euthyrox, Levo-T, and Levothroid. Okay, there are way more than this. I didn't include all of them because we'd be here all day. Each country kind of has its own flavor and different name, but it what the, doesn't the name doesn't matter. What matters is what is the active thyroid hormone in this med in these this list of medication, and it is T4. And that's what matters. And T4 is not the active thyroid hormone. In order for your body to use T4, it must activate it. And that's why a lot of people don't believe that T4 only thyroid medications are the best. Now, I don't necessarily agree or disagree with that comment. I'm just giving it to you right now. That's for a different video. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is list of NDT. And NDT stands for natural desiccated thyroid hormone. Okay, now this, medica this group of medications um, is felt to be uh, the most natural of all the thyroid medications because they come from animals and they come from animal thyroid glands. Okay, these are the ones that contain a combination of T4, which we just talked about, and T3. And you can see here the only difference between T4 and T3, it's missing that iodine right there. Okay, so your body, what it does to activate T4, it has to just cleave off that iodine, turns it into this, and boom, it's all of a sudden active. Now, all these medications contain a combination of T4, the one we just talked about, and T3, which is the active thyroid hormone. Okay, so not only do these medications are, not only are they natural, hence the name natural desiccated thyroid, but they also contain both the active and inactive thyroid hormones. Okay, medications in this class include Armour Thyroid, NP Thyroid, WP Thyroid, Nature Thyroid, and Thyrolar. Okay, there's, again, there's lots more of these. It depends on the name, the country that you come from and, and other generics that, that exist. Pretty much anyone can slap on a, a, a random name for these things. Well, that's not entirely true, but, but you get the idea. There's lots of different names, and the way you can distinguish these medications from the other one is just ask your pharmacist. Just say, hey, what is the active ingredient in my thyroid medication? If you aren't sure, if you have no idea, ask them that. They will tell you it's either T4 or T3 or some combination. They have to tell you that stuff. What matters is not the name. What matters is what is the hormone inside of your medication, okay? And last, is a list of T3 only thyroid medication names. Okay, this these medications are different from the other ones in that they only contain T3, and T3 is the most powerful thyroid hormone, and it comes already activated. Your body doesn't need to touch these medications. They just, as soon as you get them into your body, they start working immediately, right away. That's why these medications are the most powerful. They also tend to be, uh, tend to have the most side effects compared to other medications. That doesn't mean they're bad. It just means that this is how they come in your body. So these medications are not usually prescribed, um, but they can be very helpful for a lot of people. And there's only three here that I'm listing. Cytomel, Lyothyronine, or Sustain Release T3. Cytomel is the brand name, Lyothyronine is the generic, and Sustain Release T3 is the is a medication that a compounding pharmacy can, can create for you or your doctor if they write a prescription for it. And the, the main difference is not... Uh, the, the difference is not the active ingredient because they all contain T3. The difference is in the inactive ingredients. Okay, that's the only difference. So the, there are three main category, categories when it comes to thyroid medications. Uh, again, we'll go over them real quick. T4 only thyroid medications. Again, these aren't, um, they need to be activated. And so a lot of people don't do well on them. Number two, natural desiccated thyroid hormone. And these have a combination of both the active and inactive thyroid hormone. And then the third category is T3 only thyroid medications, and these come already pre-activated. They do not require any uh, conversion or activation on your body to work. So the, just a real simple video to explain the difference between these three categories. If you have any questions, leave them below. Like I said, if you're not sure, contact your pharmacist. You can also ask your doctor, just say, what is the active ingredient? And you're looking for a T3 or a T4. 
Um, and they might say that that's thyroxin, which is another name for T4, or triiodothyronine, which is another name for T3. But it shouldn't be super confusing as long as you understand those basics. Let me know if you have any questions, um, and otherwise I'll see you guys in the next one.